Uh, what's happening here? I'm not tethered, hopefully. Am I live now? <laughs> this is this is already going well. Um, let me go back over to YouTube and let me see. Let me see if I'm live now. For some reason, it's just being weird. Hello? For some reason, oh, okay, now we're live. Um, okay, so that's great. Um, I just started alive and ended alive at the same time. I think what happened, and uh, this isn't really relevant to anything, but yesterday my internet went out for for 5.15 a.m. all the way until about 1 p.m. When I got back, my router wasn't working, and so I had to get a new router and a new, um, and a new switch. When I got the new router and the new switch, I had to obviously reintegrate everything, and in the meantime, I was using my phone to tether to my thing. It's a whole thing. Um, hi. <laughs> hopefully, we'll, hopefully people can find me. Um, I'll leave this on right now. If you guys can hear me, let me know. If you can see me, let me know. Uh, right now, it is 84 degrees in the... I don't know if you can see that. It is 84 degrees in my office. And we'll check it again at the end of this to see how hot or cold it becomes. But 84 degrees in an enclosed space. Rocky, how's it going? Long time no talk. Um, 84 degrees in a office that is enclosed on the west side of, the, of my house is going to get really hot really quick. Um, <laughs> so what I want to do, and, and actually, yeah. Yeah, it's great. So, what I want to do today, as as I mentioned earlier in my post slash um, poll, is I I want to I want to give back because you know I'm up to eight six thousand eight hundred subscribers, which is a, a lot. That's a ton of people. If six thousand people walked into my front door, I would be overwhelmed and frustrated and unnerved um also too i titled this case study because what happens on youtube is people just kind of talk about the end result or they talk about a result and you never really get to see how people got to that end result so what i want to do um yeah i i i actually taught when i worked i used to work at um i used to work at a school called concordia university and I was a teacher. I was a teacher there. Um, I taught. I taught adult education, so I taught people how to get. I taught people how to get their bachelor's degrees and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I've always been kind of a, a teacher type of person. I wanted to be a coach, but <laughs> ultimately, I, I don't think I have the patience for that. Um, especially sp since sitting in my kids' classroom for the last year and year and a half, I, I I don't think I could teach little kids or coach little kids. Anyway. I feel like we tend to see either the end result or some result. Well, like the next video you watch on YouTube, it'll say how to make $67 in 15 seconds worth of work. But, you know, that's kind of never really true. And so what we, what I want to do is I want to, with your help, I want to create a new blog. It's going to be 100% from scratch. It's going to be brand new. And I'm going to put 30 blog posts on it probably over the span of 45 days. Now, I have, in the last two, three weeks, I've probably created five blog, five blogs, and I've been writing on them about every day or every other day. And so I will, I will fit your blog into that, that cycle here. I actually have a sheet of paper. I have a to-do list that I do every day. And so I will fit that into your, uh, I'll fit your blog into that and and you'll get you'll get 30 blog posts of original content written by me with the help of Jarvis now um, when it comes to Jarvis I write probably about 75 percent of the work um, last night I wrote a 2500 word blog post it, it, I think it came out to about 3,000 words and Jarvis really for me only writes the beginning and the end 
Um, they he does a little bit of, of filler. He they it 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 does kind of filler, but for the most part, it's going to be my idea. It's going to be my you know my brain, and my workflow will be really simple. It'll I'll go over to Ahrefs and I'll actually show you. This is going to be a long video, but I think this is going to be a value valuable video to show you what I do. Hi Steve, how's it going? Thanks for thanks for checking in. Um, pound sign, hashtag, depending on how old you are. Um, I think this is going to be helpful because you're going to see what goes into the, into what you should be doing if you want to try and find success. Now, am I going to guarantee that your blog, the next blog that we create is going to make $10,000 per month? No, I'm not, I can't guarantee that's impossible to guarantee. What I will guarantee is I'm going to show you exactly what I do to try and figure out little tips and tricks in, in different ways. Now my plan for this blog is to uh, write obviously on low competition keywords and then potentially also add Pinterest as well. Now I am not very good at Pinterest. Pinterest is not my strong suit. I will have a virtual assistant work on that though. But again, this is all gonna be designed to give back to you because you have joined me on this journey to 6,820 or whatever it is. It is a random number, I know, but you know, why wait to the major milestones when you can do something at, at every milestone? Every, every subscriber is a huge milestone because back when I was creating videos two and a half, three years ago, and I was getting like 10 views a video, I didn't think I would ever get to 1,000, let alone 6,000. So enough of the rambling and droning on and on and on. Let's go ahead and figure out the next blog. So what we're going to do is we I'm going to take some suggestions by you guys. I'm doing well, Steve. Um, I'm going to take some, some, some suggestions from you. We're going to come up with a niche. We're going to pick a domain name. Uh, we'll get the domain name here. I'll actually do it on a different screen just so that you guys don't see all my, my details. Uh, we'll set the blog up. I'll show you how to do everything because creating a blog or a website, whatever you want to call it, isn't that difficult. It may seem difficult and challenging, but really you can have a blog up and running within 10 or 15 minutes of you buying the domain name, especially if you buy the domain name and you have the blog on the same, on the same web hosting. So without further ado, I need some ideas. Um, and again, this is ultimately going to be your blog. So if you were starting a blog today and you wanted to get into a niche. Now, the only the only caveat to that is it can't be health, wealth, relationships, or technology. It's got to be something, you know, indirectly, kind of off the beaten path, just something different because, you know, everyone's talking about health, wealth, relationships, and technology. And before we continue on, I want to do some shameless plugging of my other stuff. I have this YouTube channel where I talk about, exclusively talk about affiliate programs, um, as you can see today, earlier today, this morning, I uploaded the SoFi affiliate program plus five ways how to write a book. That's going to be interesting. Uh, so SoFi affiliate program plus five ways to make money, TripAdvisor. So I really just talk about affiliate programs on this channel. If you are interested in learning more about different affiliate programs, subscribe to that channel. This is my channel. And then also, if you want to learn about affiliate marketing step by step, uh, it's working now. Good. I, something weird. So what happened, and, and I think I mentioned this before, I my internet went down for like eight hours yesterday, and I was, you know, incapacitated. And when I, in order to do anything, I tethered my phone to my various devices. And so when I joined the live, the other live stream, it actually joined via the tether of my smartphone and that's not the best for live streaming. So I disconnected that and now I reconnected and we're back in the game. I'll have to go back and delete the other one, but it is what it is. Um, if you wanna get started with affiliate marketing, uh, learning affiliate marketing step-by-step, step, I do have a free course and then there's some more premium stuff as well. Premium obviously means you get more, but with this affiliate marketing mini course, 100% free, you will get, I believe it's like three or four hours worth of, um, the messages on hold for review. In Quebec, we, yeah. Um, something must, they're, they're doing a lot of construction in my area. So it's like last week, someone hit a gas line the week before that it was something else and something else. So, you know, it's, it comes with the territory when you live in Wisconsin, we only have winter and then we have construction. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, members at alstingodbolt.com, you can get started for free 
uh, to learn affiliate marketing, three hour mini course, and then you get some additional. We're gonna try and find a uh, recommendation successful. I don't know what, so now I've got notifications from OBS. This is this is gonna be a train wreck. Um, I signed up 16% completed the bronze course. So hey, so what do you think about the bronze, bronze course so far? Uh, and you can be honest, if you if you think it's terrible, let me know. Instant domain, I think that's what it is. Instant domain search.com. I like it, good. Not a, not a glowing endorsement, but can you make money with Canva? Quick question. Yeah, you can make money with anything. Um, with Canva, in fact, what have I done with Canva? You can use Canva to make planners. You can use, you can, I mean, I think I did, I did an entire video about Canva. If we jump over to Canva, there's, I mean, every template on here is a way to make money. Instagram, but there's just a number of ways that you, what you need to do is just pick one and decide this is how I'm going to make my money. You can create you can create slides or presets or templates, infographics. I did a whole video, I think, with like 15 different ways. Um, no, my internet is my internet is is falling apart right now too. Um, but like you, book covers, you could go over to Fiverr right now, and you could sell book covers. Now the best way to do it is to apply to the the people that are buying the gigs can also make like custom offers and you can apply to those and you can make money that way. But let's go ahead and figure out, so we have how to write a book from Rocky. <laughs> um, any other any other suggestions for your niche? Now think of this as something that you want. Now again, you're gonna get 30 blog posts written by me. I won't outsource it. Um, there'll be, this will be your, potentially this will be your website. We'll have to do a drawing of everyone that's commenting. So if you're on and you're not talking, you're not commenting, there's no way for me to know that you're on this live. You have to comment in order for you to enter to win this this um, this this website. And again, this website's gonna be completely done for you. We're gonna go through the entire process right now. So we're gonna pick a niche, we're gonna pick a domain, we're gonna find some keywords, we're gonna install WordPress. I'm gonna do it all right in front of, right in front, most of it in front of you. I don't want you to see some of my, you know, my credit card information for obvious reasons. And then, you know, you can actually track the progress yourself. You'll know the domain name. You'll have everything that you need. Any, any other suggestions or we're gonna go with how to write a book? Any suggestions, how to write a book? And I don't know how much of a delay that I'm on, so um, I try and wait, but I kind of get, you know, I kind of get antsy with the, the dead air. And right now I'm looking off to my left because that's where, that's where my, my chat is. Let me see what the temperature is because I'm starting to get warm already. Oh. All right, so we are up to, it says 62 or 20, that says 29, so that can't be right. Let's see if we can change this. 84 we're still hanging tough at 84 all right so it looks like we it looks like it looks like how to write a book is going to win it so rocky how to write a book now how to write a book is kind of general what type of book are we writing fiction nonfiction? are we writing uh romance novels i'm interested in retail Hmm, what about retail? So, I mean, when when we're when we're thinking through this, we have to think about, you know, how to write a book is good, but there's so many subtopics. Are you talking about publishing? Do you want to are you talking about a digital book uh, with retail? What about retail is it? Are you talking about like the racks? Are you talking about like uh, planograms? I used to work at I used to work at Kmart and Walmart. And Office Max. I've worked at, at those places, and they had those things called planograms. Those were like the little plans that they would hang up, and then you'd have to put those little metal spiky things into the into the the setup so that it was configured correctly. I mean, we could even talk. We could talk about planograms. That's how that's how we need to think about this. Um, plan P L A O grams. 
I've never looked up planogram before, but as you can see, like this is the plan and the plan is, you know, done by marketing and done, you know, with analytics so that it gets people to buy. But I'm sure planograms is a niche. If we jumped over to Ahrefs, people are wanting to learn about planograms. So if we pasted that in, which would be interesting, I know absolutely nothing about, and it says it's medium. I know absolutely nothing about planograms, but you know that could be the start of a good website simply because there are 20,000 monthly searches, 2,000 keywords, and if we look at this, this is all green, mostly green. Uh, the Kmart in the Kmart by me closed about two years ago. The Kmart that I used to work at closed about two years ago, actually maybe a year and a half ago at this point. Um, yeah, but as you can see, we just looked up planograms and we could potentially have a niche. We could create a website called like um, my retail biz business.com or retail business.com, um, my first retail store.com or something like that. And we could start off with planograms. The cool thing with the domain that we, if we start off with a domain, domain like that, we could make it so that it's broad enough where we could start with planograms and then move into the next section of of building a website. Does this make sense? Am I, uh, I subscribe to Ahrefs because of your videos. Good. There's a question mark there. But, you know, I, I like Ahrefs. You could do this manually. Like if we jump back over to Google, we could do planograms and then we could go down to people also ask, what is a planogram and how to, how to use it? This is going to take more time but we're going to get the same results. Do you do affiliate marketing full time? Yeah. Oh, yes and no. I do affiliate marketing. I sell my own products. Um, I'm part of the YouTube partner program. I, um, also have Google ads. And so, you know, full time, probably not exclusively full time because I'm doing all sorts of stuff. I have a study in the past. I have studied in the past. Cultures. Okay. So, um, but do you guys see how that works? We just thought, and if you are, if you watch YouTube, you probably came across a guy by the name of Marcus Campbell. And what he calls this is the glossary method. So a planogram would be a part of the um, retail glossary. So what he says is if you want to break into a niche that is deemed competitive, you would go through and find different glossary terms that are related to the overall niche. So if our niche, if we want to get into retail, but if we just type in retail, let me just go back here. We're going to type in retail. Retail is going to probably be really competitive because everyone already thinks of retail. So retail, super hard, right? And we go to matching terms. There's going to be a lot more red and a lot more orange and some yellow. As you can see here, there's 2.2 million monthly searches, which is good, but everyone's fighting for the retail term. But as you can see, if we go back over to planogram, not a lot of people are talking about planogram and we're basically going to get to the same result. We're going to get to people that want to start a retail business. Maybe, you know, you're looking for investors, whatever it is. Does this make sense? Um, but again, if we go back to planogram, it's a medium. We look at uh, 20,000 searches and this can help us build domain authority because ultimately when you're building a blog you want to build domain authority and once you start building domain authority you can go try and compete for some competitive keywords like uh, retail or retail store or retail business um, now again what we could do and these are, are not difficult what we could do is we could start with like we could start with Home Depot planogram and we could kind of talk about, let's copy this and see what they're talking about. We could position this as a way to explain the Home Depot planogram. Uh, let's see, indeed, a lot of these, if we do, so right now, 90,000 searches. If we put this in quotes, there are 1,500 searches with people that are talking about Home Depot planogram. But as you can see, this doesn't really hit the mark. This one down here. Uh, let's click on this and see what this says. And then by clicking on this, by just doing a little bit of research, you can see we now have opportunity because someone went through and has really no text, 
Because what we could do is we could simply, 74 words here, we could simply talk about the Home Depot planogram. What is a planogram? Why businesses should use it? Why Home Depot's affiliate pro, uh, Home Depot's planogram is so um, profitable? We could kind of do that. And then, oh, by the way, we now have a website that's kind of in our niche writing about stuff. And we can jump over. We can go back to uh, Ahrefs. We can look at Site Explorer. And now we can figure out what this guy's doing. And now we have even more keywords. How'd you start affiliate marketing? I started affiliate marketing with a blog. Um, I started affiliate marketing simply because this guy has four keywords. We could we could kind of poach his keywords. Um, I started affiliate marketing maybe three three and a half years ago. I started with with a blog. Um, I started with a, a failed blog. Actually, if you go back and look at some of my earlier YouTube videos, I tried to do review videos. And, you know, I didn't really know what I was doing and those failed. My first, actually, my very first affiliate commission, and I think I talked about, I talk about this a lot. My very first affiliate commission, I made $130 with Bluehost my first day with affiliate marketing. So I watched, I watched a, a well-known YouTuber, guru, whatever you want to call him. He said, this is how you can make money fast. You go get your affiliate link. From Bluehost, sign up for Bluehost, get your affiliate link, go over to Quora, answer questions, and put your link in Quora. I did that, and about maybe five hours later, I got two nasty grams. I think I answered maybe three or four questions about web hosting, and then I put my link to Bluehost. I got a nasty gram from, from Quora's admin team saying your, your answers were removed because you uh, violated our terms and service, but then like a couple hours later, I got notifications that I earned commissions from Bluehost because between the time someone, be, between the time I answered the question and when it was removed, someone clicked, two people clicked on my affiliate links and they purchased web hosting. So that's my, that, those are my very first commissions. Okay. And so unfortunately you kind of get that idea that affiliate marketing isn't that difficult because Right away, I made $130, but I want to make sure that I preference that preference this by saying you should not add your affiliate links directly. Always send them to a bridge page, always send them to a YouTube channel or a blog post, send them off platform. Ideally, you want to send them to a YouTube channel or a blog post because you're going to get bonus points. You're going to, you're going to double dip. Okay. Um, so my first commission, $130. Uh, 65 times two is, is 130. My next commission after that was like 67 cents from Amazon from my blog. And the reason why that was powerful is because I'd written a bunch of blog posts and they weren't doing very well. And you know, you're looking for signs of hope. So that's how I got started. And I started creating YouTube videos because I felt like people were leaving out important information. And I was watching video after video after video, not putting it together. And so my videos mostly, I would say in every video, I try and make sure that I answer whatever question that I'm answering completely. And my videos are often long or long winded, especially my live streams. My live streams are, are long winded and, and my wife will tell you, I don't normally talk this much, but I try and create content so that I answer your question completely. Now, if you buy something from me, cool. That's an added bonus. Um, I would say, what would what would say for beginners? How do you start affiliate marketing? Um, Steve, can you rephrase your question? I'm not really sure what you mean. How do you start affiliate marketing? What would you say for beginning? What I would say for beginners is simply go out and create content. Pick something that you're interested in with regard to platform. What was the most you got paid from Amazon or AdSense? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know because I don't, I don't normally, this sounds bad, but I don't normally, I don't normally check it. You know, you kind of just, you have money in your account and you know, you spend it or pay people or whatever it is. Um, but I would say the, the most that I've, so I don't promote Amazon hardly ever. 
Hi, Heather. Welcome back. Sorry, I kind of messed you up there. Uh, and Amazon is, uh, Amazon, or excuse me, uh, Google AdSense is going to pay you peanuts. Right now, my site, AlstonGodbolt.com, is on Ezoic, and Ezoic pays better. I haven't been on Ezoic for a full month, so I don't know exactly how much better, but I, I, unfortunately, I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so, for the Steve had a question about how would how how should a beginner get started with affiliate marketing? Find a platform that you feel comfortable with and just start creating content. Pinterest will work, Instagram will work, TikTok will work, YouTube will work, blogging will work. You just have to, and I say this every single time, no worries, technology can be a pain sometimes, but I wasn't going to miss it. Great. So Heather, we're at the stage right now where we're trying to pick a niche. Someone mentioned retail, and what you see on the screen, or what, what I had on the screen, was I had the word planogram. And the reason why I had the word planogram is because it's our way into the retail space. If we wanted to create, if we wanted to create a, let's go here. If we wanted to create a, a website about retail, we could get in through uh, planograms because planograms are the little plans that you, the marketing plans that you put up to make sure that you can sell products on your store. Uh, yeah, Ezoic is good. But if you are a complete beginner with affiliate marketing, go create. I say that I feel like I say this every every live stream and it turns into some kind of rant. But I mean, that's the truth of the matter. You aren't going to know what you're good at. You're not going to know how to do it until you, you start creating something. You have to remember that your bad or your average is still much better than someone else's good. And even if you are bad, someone's going to look at you and say you're creating some great content. If you look at my earlier videos, my earlier videos aren't very good. Some people are going to say these videos aren't very good and that's fine. But it's still better than A, the person that's sitting on the sidelines and watching, and B, uh, it's still, I'm still helping people, even if my content is, is mediocre at best, because people can still take value from what I'm saying. Uh, so uh, last call for a, a niche. We have retail, we have how to write a book. Any, anything else? Uh, something is better than, Yes. Something will get you money. Nothing will get you nothing. I used to I used to say 100% of zero is still zero. You could be the greatest non-starter in the world, and you don't start, and you don't you don't make any money. Uh, but just put a little bit of effort, and you will be re rewarded. You put a lot of bit of effort, you're going to be report re rewarded a lot of bit. You'll at least learn what you should and shouldn't do. My first my first blog, which um, I talked to Rocky about this earlier today, it. Comparatively speaking to everything else that I have, it is the worst, my worst performing blog, but I learned the most about blogging. Um, I like this idea of the retail niche. Okay, so we could we could look at the retail niche. Again, we'd probably want to look at different terms. I think I think planogram could be a good one. We found a website of a guy that has 72 words with planogram. Are you interested in working with me? Feel free to contact me. I'm not really sure what his thing is about. We would have to do a little bit of research to see what we can fitness niche. I want to stay away from health, wealth, relationships, and technology just because that's what everyone talks about and that's what everyone does. I feel like doing something like retail or planograms is going to be a little bit more challenging, but it could also be more rewarding at the end. Uh, let's see. Write me directly using my email. I forgot where I was. Anyway, we could look at... Planograms. We would have to do a little, re little bit of research to explain a what, uh, how, how Home Depot comes up with their planogram idea, why they position some products here and other products there. Um, that would, I think, that could be pretty cool, pretty interesting. So let's say we go with retail. The next step would be to find, find our domain name. All right, so we here at our domain. I like instant domain search. You can use whatever you like. I think GoDaddy has one. Um, so we could just type in retail, and we could see obviously retail is going to be taken. What extension do you use for the word count? This is a Chrome plugin called I think it's just called Word Count. I gotta highlight something. Uh, let's highlight 
something. Of course, there's nothing on this page to highlight. I think it's just called Word Counter Plus or something. Let's go back over here. Copy, right click. Yeah, Word Counter Plus. It's a Chrome extension. It's free. You don't have to worry about paying for it. Um, so if we went over to Instant Domain Search Retail, and we could say uh, we could say retail. Uh, what what we could say retail retail business. That's going to be probably taken. Yeah, retail business. Um, we could say like retail business life, retail business planet. A retail learn retail business maybe let's try learn retail business that says that's not that, that isn't taken what do you guys think do you like that learn retail business.com that could actually be decent if we looked at the appraisal for that uh, let's see we looked at this according to this it says it's worth 979 without any content now you have to take this with a grain of uh, we have to take this with a grain of salt. Easy for me to say, but learn learnretailbusiness.com is like a pretty good one, and it gives us a lot of flexibility and a lot of leadway. So again, we could start we could create a vertical in planograms, then we could move over to uh, tech for retail or or something else. Helps us build domain authority. Really easy to remember. Really easy to. Um, to tell people, hey, what's what's the name of your website? LearnRetailBusiness.com. It rolls off the tongue. Their keywords, learn's a keyword, retail's a keyword, business is a keyword. I think this is a good one. What do you guys think? Heather likes it. Anybody else? You guys want me to try another one? And I, I haven't done this ahead of time. This is just stuff that I, this is just something that I'm just doing on a whim. Anybody want to try anything else? LearnRetailBusiness.com. All right. So I am going to go over to my other screen. I don't see anybody, any nays. I see yays. I don't see any nays. I am going to go to uh, my VPS. I have a, a, a virtual private server. And I'm going to buy the domain name. It's probably going to cost 20 or 30 bucks. And that'll take just a moment. So talk amongst yourselves. That's a that's an SNL reference. No, I don't know. It, that's something. It sounds awesome. Good. All right. So I need to do this. Just give me a second here. We will uh, we'll get this. We we got to get this before someone sees it and takes it. So we gotta we gotta be swift with this. Uh, let's go to domains now. Uh, register new domain. I'm going to copy this. Come on. We're going to paste that in like that. And search. This is actually, I think, I like this domain. Learn Retail Business. Add to cart. And all the words are spelled correctly. Retail, retail, uh, business.com. And let us, let's go to my cart. All right, come on, cart. Add it to the cart. I want to go to my cart. Do you guys have any questions so far? Your shopping cart's empty. <laughs> come on. I apologize for the dead air, but um, like I said, I don't want you guys add to cart. Check out. There we go. All right. Uh, so we're going to do it. I recommend that you guys do. Um, can you make with Google? You could use Google sites. Ultimately, I you should have your own your own real estate on the web. Um, a long time for a long time. For a long time, I wanted to invest in real estate. I wanted to own a bunch of houses. I, I, I love Monopoly. My family will tell you that I am addicted to Monopoly. I play Monopoly like crazy. Or used to play Monopoly like crazy. And I was the type of person that we play Monopoly until I win or everyone else quits. And so the reason why I say that is 
you should have your own space at any time Google could come by and say, I don't like what you're doing on that website, and they take it back. Um, YouTube could come by and say, Alston, I don't like what you're doing on your YouTube channel, and just take it back. But it's much more difficult for people to get their websites taken away unless they're plagiarizing, stealing content, or doing something illegal. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's check out here. So ultimately... I mean, this domain is going to cost me $21.94. If you get started with Bluehost, they give you a domain for free for the first year. And then you pay like $3.50 or $4 for per month for the entire year. So four times 12, four. So we're looking at like $56, $60 for all of that. It's it's much worth it. Um, it's, it's much more worth it to... Spend the $60 and get your own domain. It's much more valuable to do it yourself than to use Google Sites. Mm. Oh, that's not right. I used the wrong. I used, there we go. Hopefully you guys can't see that. But, I mean, you could, yeah, you can make money with Google. That's basically what we're going to do right now. We're going to make money with Google by creating a website and then we're going to put, we could put affiliate links on there. We could create our own product. Now, what I recommend that I know that we're talking about affiliate marketing and building our own website, what you could do and what I'm in the process of doing, spoiler alert, is I'm going to create, I'm going to create a, maybe an ebook to sell for $4. I'm going to create, I'm going to create a course that I can sell for $47, which teaches people retail. I could be an affiliate for accounting. So uh, if you're getting, if you're starting a retail business and it looks like we, we got that domain name. Um, if you're starting, if you're starting a, if you're, if you're speaking to people that are, that want to start a retail business, think about all the things that they need. They need everything from racks. So we could be an affiliate for a rack company. We could be an affiliate for accounting like QuickBooks or, you know, something that's a little bit more high end. We could be an affiliate for, um, we could find different wholesalers. But basically what we're doing, Steve, is we are using Google and Bing and Yahoo and DuckDuckGo to make money. You know, we're not going to we're, we're not going to play the semantics game that other people are going to play when it comes to this. We are going to create content that pe people are going to be compelled to click on. They're going to read through our blog. And if we put ads on this website, we can get paid by Google AdSense. If we have affiliate links, we can get paid with affiliate links. If we have... Um, I forgot what I was going to say. If we have, is DuckDuckGo a good search engine? It's good if you want to stay anonymous. I mean, I get traffic from DuckDuckGo. That's why I know of it. Um, if we if, if we wanted to, we can put, we can make money from Google by selling our own digital and physical products. If we had a, like a rack making company, I don't know what they're called. Like, let's say we, let's say we had a business where we created planograms for companies. We could create organic content that people are searching for and that's what we're doing now with the planogram thing and people are going to go out and search a marketing director is going to go out and search you know best planogram or something like that and they could discover our content then they could partner with us now i'm kind of like extrapolating and you know kind of going down the road but you know this is how we're going to make money with with google with our search engine all right so it looks like hopefully I know that, uh, I don't know why it makes me always log in again. All right, got to do this. So give me one second. I got to authenticate this. Mm, 272. There we go. All right, so good news, guys. It looks like we did get myretailbusiness.com or excuse me learnretailbusiness.com and what we would want to do next is we need to activate this bad boy and to do that it's again it's going to be really really easy now the way that I'm going to do this is going to be different than the way you do it if you use something like Bluehost now the reason why the way that I'm doing it is going to be different is because I see, as you can see, we have it now. 
Um, the reason why it's going to be different is because I have what's called a VPS. It's a server where I have my own chunk of storage. If you were getting started with Bluehost, you would just click on like install WordPress and then boom, it does everything for you. What I need to do is I need to log into my cPanel and do some other stuff so that we can actually install our, we can install our, our WordPress. Again, very easy, very simple. And what I will need to do is I'll need to kind of move the screen forward and backward just so that you guys don't get access to the, the password. It's not that I don't trust you guys. It's the, the other people that I don't know. Um, cause I would assume that this video is going to get a bunch of views tomorrow and the day after and the day after. And so, uh, right. So I need to figure that out. And so, you know, someone may come by and with less than less honorable people may come by and try and steal our, our website. So give me one second. I got to log in here. My life is basically just logging in of different places. <laughs> Do you guys have any questions right now? All right, so we got that. Ooh, failed. That's not so good. I wish there was a thing where I could bring in somebody to talk while I have dead air because I absolutely, why does it say it can't log in? This is going to be problematic for me. Where am I? Let's check the temperature real quick because I'm feeling even hotter. Uh, it says 85, so we're only up one degree. Not bad. Did Chicago have a lockdown for COVID? Yes, we've been, we've been locked down everywhere. Why am I not able to log in? Uh, let's go here again. And try this again. Um, let me actually, you know what? I'm going to make myself full screen. So you guys are going to watch me look at my computer for a second. Oops, that is, um, I didn't mean to make myself that big, guys. I apologize. Uh, let's do this and we'll do... Oh, come on. All right, so you guys can see me. Um, we're, we're not back into lockdown. So I'm, I'm not in Chicago. I'm actually in Wisconsin. But the cool thing is, is I'm considered, I'm considered to be a suburb of Chicago. I actually live in, in, the, in Kenosha. All right, so we'll try this yet again. All right, so we're finally there, which is good. And we'll do this, and we'll get here. And then now I think I can show you guys. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. All right, so we'll go back here. All right, so here we are. I am little again do you guys have any questions about anything that i've covered so far hmm all right so uh what we will do is i wonder can i slide most of this over can you guys see that you should be able to see that so what you're seeing right now is something called this is called the c panel this is the back office this is where you can do things like add domains if you're using a, a, a vps this is where you can actually configure email accounts so you could create an email called like alston at learn retail business.com and when people reach out to you they they will send an email to that that website for example my one of my emails is mail at alston godbolt.com i actually created it in the back office here in my c panel that's why I love your content straight to the point. No fluff. Yeah, I try not to add fluff because I absolutely do not. I don't like small talk. If you ever, if we ever meet in person, I'm, I'm no, I'm no fun to be around because I don't, I don't like small talk. We just kind of talk about whatever we're going to talk about. And then I stop talking anyway. <laughs> um, I probably shouldn't admit that, but so here at the C panel, this is where we could add our domains. We can add WordPress. We can do all sorts of stuff. We can add files directly if we wanted to. 
uh, what else can we do? Domains, email accounts, all sorts of stuff. We could back up our, our, our server or our website right through here. And this is, this is a CPL. Now I'm blocking some of this off just because I've got some important information on this side that, that I don't want you to look at. Again, not you guys, the people that I, I don't know. But if we scroll down here, what I need to do next is I need to simply add my domain because I bought my, actually, yes, I need to add my domain. And to add my domain, I'm just going to go down here and where it says domain, I know it's really small. I would click on domains and I would add another domain. And I'm going to go away to get where I need to go. And then I'm going to show you what I'm doing with that. So again, give me a second just because I can't show you everything that I'm doing. Uh, so I'm going to click on create a new domain. All right, we can go back here. All right, so here I am. I'm going to create a new domain and we're going to create the domain from our website that we just created. So our website is learnretailbusiness.com. I'm going to copy this. Whoops, I didn't mean to click on that. Um, I used that. Uh, I didn't mean to do this. Oh, but this is good. Um, the who was you, the reason why you want to buy like DNS protection and, and identity protection is so that if you don't, you're going to buy a website, you're going to buy a domain name and people are going to start spamming you. They're going to call you, they're going to email you, they're going to do all sorts of stuff. And they're going to try and get you to spend money on a service that you probably don't need. All right. So learn retail We're going to copy this. We're going to come back over here. And I am going to add in this domain. I'm going to uncheck this. And so this is our domain, learnretailbusiness.com. I'm going to click submit. And then we can move on to the next step, which is installing WordPress. All right, so we're going to go back to my cPanel. And again, I'm going to slide this over so that you can partially see most of it. And what I need to do, and again, yours will probably look a little different. I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to click on this WordPress icon to create a brand new WordPress install. I'm going to slide this back over again because I got a bunch of stuff that I don't want the next guy to see. I click on the WordPress icon and I'm going to click on, let's see if you can see, okay. I don't want you to see the current installations at the bottom. I can click on install here. This is this blue button. And when I click on install, it's going to walk me through the steps of setting up, um, setting up WordPress on my website. So I'm going to click install. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I'm going to run you through this, but I'm going to change the username and password to get us up and running. So the first thing I need to do is find our domain. I've got a bunch of them in here learn retail business okay so here we go our domain here is listed at the top we go through we can add our name uh, our website name is uh, learnretailbusiness.com oh watch watch this heather i'm gonna walk you through it step by step it's super easy you can skip most of this simply because if you're using bluehost i mean it's you don't need to worry about any of this you'll just click one thing and you'll you'll be up to the next step so we could change our name to um, learn, I keep forgetting, learn retail business. And then we could add in, you know, the only place to learn all aspects of retail business. We want to change our username and password. You never want to leave it at admin and especially don't leave it at password. The reason being is uh, people have created bots that are just cycling through websites and they're trying to guess your username and password. If they guess your username and password, they're going to turn your your website into a. They're gonna um, they're probably gonna put some sort of spyware on it, and b. They can set it up so that they are kind of like stealing your information. They're stealing information from your, um, your the people that that come to your your website. So make sure that you do not use username, do not use admin, and do not use password for your password. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna log uh, limit login attempts. And then we can also choose one of these themes here, or we can go find a theme anywhere else. There are tons of free and paid themes that you can use. Uh, so let me go ahead and change my username and password real quick. Let's see here. 
and again forgive me because I am uh, not looking at the screen and I am not I am not talking <laughs> to you right now but uh, let's see let me just uh, go here we're gonna hit a couple enters we'll paste that in right there I'm gonna copy this again and I'm gonna paste this in right here as well and just do one more thing here paste that in so I'm gonna scroll all the way down and I'm gonna click on install now this only takes a couple minutes but you're gonna see it very shortly and you guys can all navigate to this in, in a couple minutes actually it looks like we're already up and running congratulations the software has been installed successfully if I drag this over here we now have a website we we just installed WordPress and what we can do is we can click on this and you can see this is what our web, our, our website looks like learn retail business my WordPress blog we can scroll down and so on if we I'm gonna drag this back over here just for a second because I don't remember um, what we can do next is we can click on we can get to our web we can get to our website by going to learnretailbusiness.com forward slash WP hyphen admin people will tell you to change it you probably should so we're gonna click on this and from here we can change our WordPress theme but Heather for all intents and purposes we just installed WordPress and before we get started adding content we should probably do a few things first thing we can do is we can go down to settings and then we actually change this learn retail business we could actually change this to like the only place to learn all things retail and when we hit enter it'll actually change what it says on the tab so we have that we can when we scroll down here we're going to change this to Chicago because we are in the um, central time zone we're going to leave that as is as is as is we're going to click on save changes yeah it's it's really really easy now I only know that it's easy because I've probably installed maybe 100 200 WordPress websites that's that's how I know it, it's it's easy um, if you've never installed a WordPress website before you you're probably you know kind of like what's going on here but as you can see we just did it now we're gonna click on writing when we click on writing we can leave this as is we could if we want to we could add in a new post category and so then whenever we create a new post it would automatically default to that new category for example our default category could be planograms and I'll show you what that means in just a second but right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that as uncategorized we're gonna go down to reading and what we can do now we have two options here we can either make our home page a static page so every time someone comes to our home page they see the same website or the, the same web page like if you go to alstongodbolt.com it's like that all the time that's that's a static page or you can have it be the latest post so anytime we add a new blog post that'll show up at the top of the page what you decide to do there is really personal preference some people prefer to have that static page there like I like to have that static page because I want to get people onto my mailing list into that free course or if you want if you're doing just a straight blog website you can send people uh, you can have it so that it, it goes to your latest post that's really up to you but we're what we're going to do is we're going to go to your latest post and we're going to leave it like that and then uh, very very important this down here it says search engine visibility make sure you leave this unchecked do not check this if you check this it's going to be di very difficult for Google and Bing and Yahoo and DuckDuckGo and Opera and all the other ones Firefox and Edge it's going to be difficult for those guys to pick you up because you have told them that you don't want them to see your website and we want to get seen every way possible so we're going to click on save changes and we're going to move on to discussion I don't think there's anything we need to change in discussion we can leave that as is we can go down to media we're going to leave media as is and then we can go to permalinks permalinks is very very important you want to make sure that you change your permalink to post name it's going to be set to I'm working on getting my WordPress together for my dog blog um, good good Heather so change it to post name and, and basically what this means is 
our first web page, our first blog post would be like um, how to set, how to create a planogram. Our website is going to be learn, or that web page is going to be learnretailbusiness.com forward slash how to create a planogram. You want that. That'll help you get discovered in search engines. Most people leave it to the top one on accident. You don't want to do that. Make sure you change it to post name. So we're going to click save there. And then we can leave the privacy settings as is. Uh, and all the configuration is done. Okay. And so the final thing that we want to do is you want to install a WordPress theme because the theme that we have now is pitiful. We go to themes and here are some of the default themes that we have. Now what you can do is you can do a few things. One, if you're using something like Bluehost, they'll have themes that they want to sell you. Those are called premium themes. You can find premium themes on a website like ThemeForest. They actually, ThemeForest also has an affiliate program. If you are interested in that, ThemeForest.com, hit enter. And you can go buy premium themes that way. If you were looking for a dog WordPress theme, you could just type in dog, hit enter, and you can find a dog WordPress theme. You can buy these. When you buy them, you can download the um, zip drive in the back office, and then you would upload it right into, right into WordPress. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. You can also use something called Generate Press. Generate, I think Generate Press is one of the top free themes. Now Generate Press has a uh, premium component, but as you can see here, we'll click on Generate Press. There, we'll click on the pricing structure. They have a 59 one. Uh, they also have a free one as well. I don't remember. I do remember. I know how to get to the free one. Home, uh, free and open source. So you could click on this. We're going to click on this and download it. It's going to download right to our computer. It's going to go to my downloads folder. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to our WordPress themes. So right now I'm in appearance themes. I'm going to click on add new. And then I'm going to click on upload theme. Now what's going to happen for me, which probably will not happen for you. I'm going to get an error and that error is going to tell me that I don't have a large enough upload file size. That's something that I can change real quick. Um, I know that that's going to happen. That's the default settings. But what we're going to do for you is we're going to click on choose file or I could drag and drop it. I'm going to go to downloads. I'm going to find my generate press theme. I'm going to click on open and then install. I should get an error. I'll be surprised if I don't. Okay, I don't get an error. So I'm gonna click on live preview. This is what our website looks like now, or will look like when I when, once I activate it. Come on, come on. So as you can see, the, the, the website's completely different. It went from that ugly green that I think I showed you before. Actually, let's bring up, let's bring up our, our ugly website. Learn retail business learn retail business. So this is what our website looks like now. This is what our website will look like once we install it. It looks much better, hundred times better. And it looks standard. A lot of websites look like this. And if we wanted to, we can go through and we can change each of the settings and change the colors and change the color scheme and the color palette. But we're not going to worry about that right now. We just want to make sure that we have something that's up and running and it's functional. Is everyone with me so far? Is this making sense? Did I, did I lose anyone? Anybody, anybody. Um, but so yeah, we we've gone through the process and we've gone, we've been on this call for an hour. And the only thing we need to do is we need to start writing blog posts, really. So we're going to click on activate and publish. And if we refresh this, our website's going to be different. Boom. Boom, we, we, we now, you guys are now, um, you guys are now WordPress developers. You could charge people $200 over, you could charge people probably $150 just to do this over on Fiverr. It took us less than an hour um, and you guys are WordPress developers. Th that was my issue that I was trying to customize too much at once. Yeah, I like to do what's called iteration. So I make a change, see how it works. If I like it, make another change. That's the slow process, but that's the more, in my 
in my opinion. That's a more effective way so that you're not, again, doing too much and then you run into some issues. Anyway, if we continue on, um, what do we need to do? We need to go back to our website. We're going to close this. And when you install Generate Press, it may give you some additional options. As you can see here, Generate Press. Now, the cool thing when you install a premium widget, they do come with premium plugins. Now, when you're thinking about WordPress, there's WordPress themes and there's WordPress plugins. A WordPress theme is the way that the website looks. The way that the, the shell of the website looks, how every web page is going to look the exact same, this is our WordPress theme. What we can do is we can go back and add um, plugins. Now, plugins are going to change the functionality. We can find a plugin that schedule that, that can help schedule appointments or a countdown timer or collect leads, um, like an email opt-in type of thing. I still haven't finished my website yet, and it's been a month. What are you waiting on? Get it done. You're prevent the, you're think about it like this. Every day that you don't get it done is a day further away the money is or potential money is. You're pushing the money further and further away. Um, and we just we just built a website in, in an hour, probably closer to 30 minutes. Um, we built a blog. And what we can do here, and I'm just gonna quickly run through this. So we have the appearance. This is the um, the custom menu for generate press some of this stuff is going to be premium focused so that you have to buy the 59 dollars per year what we can do though is we can go to we can go to widgets and then widgets is going to change what we see on the side so our sidebar i actually don't like this new widget thing so where it says latest comments and recent posts that's the stuff right here on the right hand side um yeah, me too. I Like I said, I've created a bunch of websites in the last two, three weeks. And I, I'm just like, I, I go crazy. I like to start new things. Um, I guess that's better than buying new things, starting new things. All right. So um, over here on the right hand side, these are widgets. You can change them. You can place them different places. Uh, those widgets are here. If we remove the search widget, which we could do, we're just going to click on remove here. We're going to click update and once that updates it says widget saved this search bar that you see right here that i'm clicking on when we click on refresh that's going to disappear and now you just see recent posts recent comments uh all right so we go here we those are the widgets and the cool thing is is there's not just the sidebar there's the footer there's all sorts of widgets that we can add and change uh the other thing we want to do is menus we can add a menu if we wanted to and right now we don't have a need to add a menu, but we could add a menu for each of our categories. So if we have a planogram category, we can add a, 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 a heading, a menu there. If we have like a, an accounting menu, we can add that next to it. Uh, after that, we let's talk about, let's talk a little bit more about plugins. I'm going to show you guys how to add a plugin. And then I think I'm going to let you go because I'm starting to burn up. So plugins again, change the, the function. Now key, don't have a bunch of plugins on your website. You want less than five because the more plugins you add, the heavier your website's going to be and the slower your website's going to move. And Google is all about speed. They want to get the customer, the, the viewer to your web page and reading content as fast as possible. So if we go over to plugins, usually, usually WordPress will install a few a few i just delete them like this um anti-spam one delete hello dolly delete but what we can do is we can click on add new now this is this may be where you want to add in a plugin for um aweber or get response or something like that if you have if you're using like my membership site i'm using learn dash so i have to install that plugin but you can go through and you can find a plugin for anything Again, I recommend that you do not have a bunch of plugins on your website. If you're not using them at all, delete them. Uh, and to edit plugins real easy, just click on install and away you go. You can also buy premium plugins. To buy a, to install a premium plugin is the same way that we install the WordPress theme. Click on upload plugin, drag and drop it from your, your downloads folder, upload, away you go and then you have installed the plugin. Do you guys have any questions so far?
I mean, really the next step would be to start adding content. And I don't think you guys want to sit and watch me add, add a blog post for, for our website. What we'll need to do is we'll need to raffle off our website. We have me, we have Heather Carpenter. I apologize for using your whole name. Uh, Steve, we have Rocky. We have four people that are, are entered to win our new website. After this, guys, what I want you to do is I want you to go over to the website. Um, let me just put it in the description so that you guys can see exactly what I've done. Again, and, and you know, this um, this training really comes from, from Rocky. I spoke to Rocky earlier today, and he's like, you know, you know, and this is kind of like paraphrasing. He said, you know, people that have put up a bunch of websites, it's second nature. But for people that maybe tried to launch one and they got confused and stuck, they really could benefit from like a hands-on walkthrough training. Uh, it's okay. I haven't thought of a nickname yet. Um, <laughs> so again, this, this training was kind of like that hands-on walk you through step-by-step step from nothing because we started off with nothing with your help. We now have something and that's something this, this thing right now could potentially make us a bunch of money. I know it, it doesn't seem like it right now. It doesn't feel like it because we just see hello world, but it could make us, it could make us pennies. If we put ad, if we worked with um, Google AdSense, it could make us pennies right now if people went to it, or it could make us hundreds of thousands of dollars could potentially it really all depends on what happens how well how well we write if we continue to write because what's going to happen is once i write 30 blog posts i'm going to give this over to you and it's going to be your responsibility to continue to write a hundred thousand dollars isn't going to fall out of the sky off of 30 blog posts unless you're writing about something super particular and you're selling a ninety nine thousand dollar course with a one thousand dollar upsell it's going to be important that whomever gets this website continues to write on it, can improve on it, to go back and improve on the blog posts. If the blog posts are getting some rankings, add more content. But that's that's going to be pivotal. So again, we're going to I'm going to enter you guys into the hopper. <clears throat> I got to say that with a, a Boston accent, but I'm going to enter you guys. So we've got Rocky, we've got Steve, we've got me, we've got Heather into the hopper. We're going to pick one. You guys have a 25% chance. And we're going to, I'm going to create 30 blog posts over the next 45 days. And we're going to see what happens. We'll, we'll track the analytics. That's something else that, that most people aren't willing to do. I'll show you the analytics for this site. We'll show you some things that are going well. One thing that I do actually like to install off the bat, and I just started doing this recently, is I like to install Google Kit. Because Google Kit allows you to install the plugin, Site Kit by Google. I like to install that right away. Uh, the reason being is simply, I think Google wants to, um, Google gives you a benefit whenever you do Google stuff. And so I just throw it in there. All right, so what I will do is I'm going to enter these four names into a hat. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick one out. Not now. I'll pick one out. I was just going to ask that. Ask what? Mia, I was just going to ask. He says I was just going to ask. I'm going to pick, I'm going to put four names into a hat. If I had a hat, I would do it right now. Um, actually, why don't I do this? I have this. All right, so we've got this here. Can you guys see this? I'm going to actually bring myself larger here. Yeah, I've just started adding Google Site Kit on all of my um, all of my sites. Just started doing that. Yes, I, ju I just started adding it. All right, so here we go. I'm going to, can you see that? It's empty. I feel like a magician. Got a, if you guys have ever been to a casino, they do this with their hands. You can see that. Um, 
for doing all of this here. I have sticky notes that I don't want to use sticky. I want to use I want to use something. Uh, those are post-its. All right, I'm going to go get a, a piece of paper. I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. So we've got four names to enter in to our drawing. All right, so we've got four names here. All right, so everyone has almost four equal squares here. And we have, I need a pen. Where's my pen? All right, so we've got a pen here. We've got the first entrant is me. Me, you see your name there? It's upside down, but that's fine. We're going to put you in there. Next we have Heather. Heather, can you see your name there? There we go. We're gonna throw that into the hopper. This is exciting. Put that in there. We have Rocky, R-O-C-K-Y. Rocky's name is right there. Good. Okay, mm and then I am missing one, Steve. Steve. E -V -E. All right, so we've got Steve in here. All right, so how should I do this, guys? Should I do the last name standing or the first name out? I am shaking this up. <laughs> this, this is really a big production for what I'm doing here. All right, so you can see that and see me. Let's do last name. All right, last name. Last name is the winner. So the first person out is Rocky. Rocky, you are not a winner. The second name out is the drama intensifies. The second name out is Heather. Heather, you are not a winner. The third name, I feel bad telling people they are not a winner. Um, the third name out is Steve, Steve, you are not a winner. So that means our winner of our new website, a new blog, is me. That's funny. <laughs> that sounds funny. <laughs> I'm the winner of my own website. No, me, M-E, you, congratulations. You have won the website. So again, thank you guys for watching. I will write the 30 blog post. Feel free to check out the progress. <laughs> it's, it seems, that sounds real shady. I'm the winner of the website. Me, 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 me. Um, so what we'll do, yeah, I am selfish. It's all about me. Uh, so what we're gonna do, 30 blog posts over the next 45 days, give or take a day or two, but I wanna get this off my plate, get this on to you. Guys, check out the website. I'm also going to talk about the progress on today's Thursday on future live streams. Uh, let's see. Show. Why won't we show that? Anyway, um, thumbnail is my coat. So, yeah. So, next week, Thursday, I unless there's... I got to check the schedule because the one thing that I do watch is football. So I'm going to be shifting the lives from, from Thursday and Sunday to uh, Wednesday and Saturday. I don't, I don't care about college football. So that's when we'll be doing the live streams. I'll update you on the progress of, those, of this website. 
and we'll talk about some good, some bad, some ugly. If you guys have questions, definitely throw them out there. Thank you guys for hanging out for the entire hour and 15 minutes, hour and 20 minutes. I appreciate it. Uh, sorry for any, any hiccups, but um, yeah, you guys have any questions for me? any questions at all we'll also talk about some ways to, to monetize this website like i mentioned before we could probably find like a rack affiliate program we could find accounting affiliate programs we could create our own little book to sell um yeah i'm excited too i'm gonna be i'm gonna be honest with you me if this website takes off we might have to talk about some sort of partnership <laughs> um yeah, I just, I don't, college football is okay. All right, before we go, I want to check the temperature one one last time. Let's see, I am sweating again. Okay, it's only, so it's only 84. It's only gone up like two degrees since we started. We've been talking for over an hour, so that's not bad. I can quit my whining now. It's not as hot as I thought it was. All right, guys, so until next time, thank you for stopping by. I split the profits with you in half. No, I, I said at the beginning of this that I was going to make 30 and give it away. You should never worry about money that's gone, come and gone. Yes, it's hot. It, it's hot in here. Um, you should never worry about money that goes because money always comes and goes. Um, uh <laughs> All right, guys, if you have any other questions, definitely make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell, comment down below. Again, I appreciate everyone that stopped by for the entire um, almost two hours now at this point, hour and 45 minutes. Um, thanks for watching, and we will see you tomorrow.